What's up guys, Rob here. Uh, just giving you an update. I know a lot of you guys were following, saw that I got a test and uh, tested positive for COVID-19. Um, really, I started experiencing symptoms on the t June the 29th, that Monday night. I started experiencing some night sweats and uh, fever and chills. Uh, and then into Tuesday as well, and, and Wednesday morning, I went and got a, uh, I drove about an hour or so to get a test, one of the nose swab tests, which took three to five days to get the results. Um, but some people around me were having similar symptoms, so I really wanted to know uh, for my wife's sake, as you know, she is a cancer survivor, just finished her treatment, so her immune system's low, so it's very important for us to know as quickly as we could. So. I got up super duper early in the morning, Tuesday, and I went ahead and got um, tested at a rapid test site, and that test came back negative, which I, I didn't believe that based on how I was feeling. So uh, so I was kind of quarantined myself, hunkered down and waited for the other results to come back, and they came back today positive. Uh, since, since the first test, kind of been up and down. I went, went feeling relatively normal, then really bad again. Lots of, I mean, fatigue is unreal. Like, just a, even this activity right here feels like I'm running up a flight of steps. I'm already sweating just holding this phone. Uh, but I wanted to update you guys so you guys can follow along. Ultimately, as you know, I trust God. Uh, I shared a, a little message when this whole pandemic first started, and ultimately God is sovereign. Whether whether I'm sick, whether I'm well, whether I live, whether I die, He is sovereign. So I trust in Him. His will is good. And it's for my good and his glory, however this works out. So I'm resting and trusting in him. I could use your prayer because obviously I'm tired. I'm, I'm worried about my wife, who is also starting to exhibit some symptoms as well. Uh, so be praying for her and, of course, my four children. Love you all. I'll keep you updated as this thing progresses.